Hello Virgo, how are you? Happy birthday, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you've stopped by. Thank you so much for coming by. And this is a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. It is a general reading. It's timeless. It will be published for the first week in September. And it's like a buffet table. Take the chairs and leave the rest. Okay, there's a lot of cards I want to talk here, Virgo. Okay, so we're going to cut the deck and get started. Let's see what is going on in this love relationship. Okay. Five of Cups, Dissatisfaction and Sadness, Wanting a Victory. Okay, so the mutual energy in the recent past for you and your person, Virgo. Wow, the Death card, that's quite an opener. We have Scorpio energy. No wonder you feel sad. All right, death and rebirth is typically the way that happens. It's like removing an old kitchen to replace it with a new one, but we'll see how this unfolds. All right, so... The current mutual energy is the sun card. Well, that's a big turn of events. Death to the sun card? There's a story behind that, Virgo. I hope you share it with us. Oh, ten of cups is how your person sees the two of you. Happily ever after, harmony. It looks as though for many of you, you might have come really close to a divorce. Or there, it looks like there's a rebirth in, in a marriage, okay? So how do they see you, Virgo? How does your person see you? Oh, they see you as a queen of wands. Somebody with a lot of fire. Somebody who likes a lot of attention. Somebody who gets a lot of attention. They see you as very sexy. They do see you there as they're happily ever after. That's Pisces. We have Leo energy. We have Aries energy. And we have Scorpio. Five of Cups. Scorpio energy also. Five of Wands is how they feel in their heart space, Virgo. They feel very conflicted about this. Very, they feel like they, this has been the source of a lot of arguments is what I'm seeing here. All right, how do they view the path forward with you? Eight of Swords, there may not be a path forward. They view the relationship as one that's very loving, that has potential, that's been very fulfilling. When it's good, it's good. But when it's not good, it's bad. Okay, what is the hidden mutual energy between the two of you? You want to pack it up and move on. It seems overwhelming. The difficulties seem overwhelming to both of you. What is spirit recommending? Keep it together. Virgo, that's Capricorn energy. Do the work. Nurture each other. Love each other. Improve your habits. What is the outcome? Five of coins. Oof. Taurus energy. The things that you value about the relationship seem to really, this is really difficult. Both of you always feel left out in the cold. Your outcome here is that there's egocentric fighting and that at the end of the day, neither of you can see a spiritual path forward for the relationship. So this is an outcome card. Outcomes are, you know, can be quite short lived. But what we see is the key is right here. The lock is right there. This is a false perception that it's hopeless. Taking your head out of your shoulders and looking up creates an answer. So there is a path out of this. Spirit is saying you need to be more mature. You need to be, well, you know, everything about the Capricorn Queen. All right, so let's see what we have here for you. Virgo, Virgo, why is the Five of Cups here? There's two cups left, but you're focused on what is missing. What is missing in this relationship? What is missing in this relationship for Virgo and their person? No emotion. A sense of holding back, a sense of being selfish. For most of you, this is a marriage. And for many of you, there has been third party infidelities here, especially with the Queen of Wands, the death card. It looks like the two of you may have been in separation recently. It looks like right now you're trying to work things out. You know, I get a victory. You wanted a victory. You wanted a way out of the death card. 
Again, that's egocentric energy though. It's almost as like your public persona and how you appear in public is so important to both of you that you're willing to fight for the relationship because of that. Everybody's motivated differently. Not to say one motivation is better than another. All right, so the Sun card. Let's see why else, though, we have the Death card. Egocentric. Somebody wanted a lot of attention. That's what the Queen of Wands wants. So Virgo, your person sees you as somebody who wants way too much attention. They feel as though you put them in a competitive situation. And when you're married, you're not supposed to have that energy. That's not supposed to exist. So self-imposed restriction is what happened in the past. Neither of you, although you wanted a victory, it doesn't seem as though, it's almost like you ripped out the kitchen, but you never put it back. You ripped out the love, but you haven't built it back. The Eight of Cups walking away. Okay, so there, you've been in separation. It does look like with the Sun card, you're trying to make amends, work it through. But the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, new beginning in a marital situation does not look like it's fulfilling. Even though you have, oh my God, this is so crazy. Look at this. So you want the same things. You want to build. But look at what happened when I clarified. The sun is clarified by the sun. I wonder if you're both the same sun sign. You may be too much alike. I don't know. But the sun and the sun? That means when it's good, it's great. But it isn't that great that often. Because of egos, because the sun is Leo energy, you know, likes a lot of attention. It, it's almost as though you both want to be a star and you want to be one another star. And yet, you know, that's hard to maintain in a marriage. It just is, especially when there's children and responsibilities. And Why is the Ten of Cups here? This is a most interesting reading, Virgo. I'm a Virgo rising, so... I find this quite fascinating. Why is your, does your person love you so much? King of Swords reversed. They try so hard to not, to control their emotions. The King of Swords reversed is sort of like somebody who's bitter. That is a bitter card. That's an angry card. That's, that's a really troubling card. It's Aquarius energy gone bad, gone rogue. It's like, okay. So that's our view of the relationship is that no matter how much they love you, they get iced out and they're bitter about it. Eek. Okay. I'm not throwing shade at anybody here. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of a love story as the tarot tells the story. Okay. Star, they see you as a rock star. Somebody who's going to have fame and fortune. Somebody who's going who's going to go off and possibly be happy with somebody else. Oh, wow. Okay. I read it as I see it. The Ace of Coins reverse. They feel as though you're not making them an offer. Okay. They just feel helpless. Virgo, Virgo, this person feels very helpless. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Emperor card. They feel as though you hold all the power in the relationship, Virgo. They see you as a person who is very sexy, who gets a lot of attention, who's a rock star, who everybody, everybody knows your name, that you like the attention, that you make them compete for you. There's no equal give and take in terms of the emotions. They feel as though they give you more than you give them. Here's Leo energy on top of everything else. So now we have Leo energy twice. We have Aries energy twice. A lot of fire here. Not uncommon for Virgo, so. Because Venus can only travel and Mercury can only travel 60 degrees away from your sun. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Five of Wands, Magician card. Your person wants to manifest you back so badly. But they also know, they want to heal the relationship. They don't want to give up. Your person absolutely wants your relationship to become stable again. They also might even suggest that you reunite and repeat your vows. You know, another ceremony to try to reaffirm the relationship. But they just feel all up in their head. 
five of swords the fighting is too much the difficulty the holding back they just feel as though there is just no way they can really manifest this or heal it the seven of cups they no longer have a fantasy that they can save the relationship the death card reverse means that there will be no death and rebirth it's the opposite actually of being able to rebirth something they feel as though only the death will be going on in the future Virgo Virgo okay so both of you feel overwhelmed both of you are carrying a lot of baggage and both of you feel guilty and want to let this go so what's going on with that reconciliation trying to work things out holding on no matter what ah, there's a judgment of divorce though so I think for a lot of you, Virgo, you may be at this sort of final decision-making time in your life when you might. These are two release cards. When we get the Ten of Wands, this is a person who's finally packed it in and taken off. It's a burdensome feeling. It's a feeling of guilt also. It shows that the two of you are going to try to maintain a good relationship. There may be children involved, but the Judgment card is to release the situation can also just be letting go of past injuries and wounds too letting go of the the burdens of the past why is the queen of pentacles here virgo energy capricorn energy so spirit is recommending that you figure this thing out that you know that you stay together you nurture looks again like you have a family but Spirit's also saying that you're at a crossroads. You have to you have to make a real choice here. You have to make a choice, and you have to go with it, and you have to stick with it, and you have to do the work if you're going to choose it. Okay, so why is this the Five of Pentacles here? Why do you both feel hopeless about this? No fire left in your belly. Too many arguments. Feeling bitter. Queen of Swords reverse. King, queen. Wow. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is Libra energy. The King of Swords is Aquarius energy. So there's no enlightenment here. There's no enlightenment and there's a lot of bitterness. There's a lot of like frozen anger. Tell us more about the marriage. There we go. That the two of you could have had a legacy marriage that you do have. You've really built up some wealth. You've really had some success in the community. Both of you look good, but boy, behind closed doors, it is another story. People, I don't think people have any idea how unhappy you are. Juggling two. Okay, what does a juggling two mean? Yeah. That really comes down to trying to make a decision so that you aren't unhappy. So Virgo, I'm going to look at the wisdom of the oracle for you. Pull these cards in here. Okay. There we go. Let's see what we have for the wisdom of the oracle. Spirit is recommending on working on this, and if you can't work through it, to go ahead and leave orphaned. Yeah. Somebody in the relationship may have been orphaned. There might be abandonment issues at play here. Um, there might be old wounds that keep you, Virgo, maybe especially you, because you seem to hold back more than they do. And so that might come from a different place. Let's see, blessed, oh, look at that. Even though there's orphaned, this is also blessed. There are a lot of blessings in this. The fates, oh boy, the fates brought you together. All right, let's see what your ancestors would say to you about this. Dream and journey. Oh, wow. Orphaned dream and journey. Interesting. You may have come from a distance here. And the card of blessed is here. Choose your path. So even if you separate, spirit is really saying that you need to clean up your energy with this person. Take care of your needs. 
it just looks like star cross lovers to me it really does it looks like it's very challenging but let's look and see what both of you are doing in your journey of love i'm going to go look at that king of swords reversed then we're going to look at the queen of swords reversed i'm going to pull three cards for each of you in your journey of love because we're trying to help you save this relationship or try to figure out an answer here let the feminine lead the way okay masculine let the feminine lead the way god speaks okay she loves okay so let's see now what is here what is the feminine's journey in all of this i'm going to pull these two feminine's journey the communal dance the feminine is sort of in charge of the family and extended family. Man of earth, woman of sky. Interesting earth. That's almost like the magician card. That is the energy of earth sign energy and air sign energy. Using your intellect to stay grounded and falling. Oh, a feather is falling. Cosmic butterfly. So this is a time of transformation. It just simply may not be something that the two of you will actually choose to do. It seems like a lot of water is passed under the bridge. Well, I'm going to, Virgo, I really want you to leave comments for me below. It does look like this is a very difficult time. If you have a lot of Libra in your chart, I feel as though that's why this is coming to, you know, this sort of critical mass point. Sending you love. I hope things work out for you. My heart goes out to you with this reading. Um, hopefully we'll get more information next week. But sending you love and light. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you like the content. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your energy with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.